क्वेश्चन इज सपोज अ फेयर सिक्स हाइडेड डाई इज रोल्ड वंस इफ द वैल्यू ऑन द डाई इज वन टू और थ्री द डाई इज रोल्ड अ सेकेंड टाइम वट इज द प्रॉबेबिलिटी दैट द सम टोटल ऑफ वैल्यूज दैट टर्न अप इज एट लीस्ट सिक्स द ऑप्शन आर टेन बाय ट्वेंटी वन फाइव बाय ट्वेल्व टू बाय थ्री वन बाय सिक्स Uh, let's revise a formula. Probability of happening of an event is number of favorable outcomes upon total number of outcomes. Now, if number of first die is one, two, or three, then second die is through. This is what is uh, what we know from the statement. If second die is through, the possible values are one, two, or three, or four, or five, or six. This is clear. So. If there is a, uh, a number four or five or six on a first die, then second die is not rolled. If one is outcome on the first die, then we have to roll a second die, and uh, possible outcomes are one, two, three, four, five, six on that uh, second die. But to make a sum at least six, our favorable outcomes in that case will be five or six because one plus five will be six, and one plus six will be seven. So sum is at least six. So one or five or one or six will be our favorable outcomes if one is on the first die. If two is on the uh, is on a first die, then our favorable outcomes on the second die will be four or five or six. So that the sum is at least six. Suppose if one is there, two plus one is three. We reject that case. Two is there. Two plus two is four. We reject that case. Three is there. Two plus three is five. We reject that case. So in this case, two or four, two or five, two or six. So if one is there, two are our uh, two are our two outputs are our favorable. If two is there, then three outputs are our favorable. If three is an outcome on the first die, so now what will be the output on the second die so that the sum is at least six? So favorable are three, four. Five or six, because three plus three will give give us six. Three plus four will seven. Three plus five will give. Uh, three plus five will give eight. Three plus six will give nine. So these are three, 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 four, three, five, three, six. If we count these, two plus three, five, five plus four, nine. So nine will be favorable outcomes. So total number of favorable outcomes are two plus three plus four plus uh, which is equal two plus three plus four, which is equal to. Nine, and total number of outcomes because two dice are thrown in this case, so six by six, a six into six that is thirty six. So probability will be nine by thirty six, favorable of one total case. But we are not considering one case here. Let's look in detail about that case. Suppose if six comes on a first die, then we don't have to throw the second die. That's obvious. Because we will throw a se uh, second die if outcome uh, if the outcome on first die is one, two or three. But this is a special case. Why this is a special case? Because our favorable outcomes are the sum should be at least six. If one if six is on the first die, then we don't have to throw second die, but the sum will be at least six. So in how many ways we can get six? On a first die, its probability is one by six. Probability is one by six. So our problems, our problem is divided into two parts. Getting one, two, or three, and the sum should be at least six. And the second part, if we get six on a first part, on a first die, then it also satisfy at least six. Sum, uh, sum at least six, which is our uh, which is what we want. So our answer will be. Nine by thirty-six, which we earlier calculate, plus one by six, which is this. Uh, where we get one by six, if six comes on the first die, then we don't have to throw the second die. So we have to add that probability. It is additive. In this case, it will be additive. If we convert our problem into words, in a simple words, to get a sum of at least six. Either get six on the first or get a sum on a first or a second die, which is at least six. That's why it's an additive. If we solve it, it will give us fifteen by thirty-six, which is five by 
12. So our answer is pi by 12.